Legend of Total War here with part 10 of my Total War Shogun 2 uh, Fall of the Samurai Let's Play campaign as the the new Republic of Obama. So we've decided to go Republic, which basically is the hardest option we could go because it just, it totally re... Uh, we go to war with everyone and we have public order issues because we have to change our religion. So, well, our, our allegiance. And that takes time. So what we need to do is hunker down as much as possible, make sure that every settlement is defensible as it possibly can. Yeah. And uh, just hold out as long as we can. So I'm just thinking, this one here is not very defensible right now. Oh, I don't have much money. Wakasa is not too much under threat. Maybe I'll bring these three down here. Because it's actually now bordering an enemy. Tango should be fine. I don't even know what we should do with you. We sail for glory! These guys haven't declared war on us yet, but they're going to. I think what I might do is try to make a mad rush. What if I was declared war on them right now? I mean, they're definitely they've already they've already cancelled the alliance. I mean, sure, I, I won't take a um a honor hit. Like it doesn't matter about your reputation when everyone hates you anyway. So what if we made a mad rush for Yamashiro? Try and get there. Okay, fuck them. They traitor. Bastards. Take him out. And then take this opportunity to get over here as quickly as possible. I think next turn's going to be spring. Now, what about the public order here? So we can afford to have one turn with it like this, but just exempt it for now. I think we should recruit. Oh, I got no money. What can I cancel? You know what, I probably shouldn't focus too much on this settlement, so just cancel... Let me see, what should I cancel? See, that's going to cause public order problems as well. There's probably going to be an army that just comes over here and takes this. This is not a very valuable settlement. I might... yeah. Cancel this. That, no, no, no. We're trying to actually build defenses here. Oh, also. I want you to go... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's fucked. Cancel all of it. Just let the settlement fall. It's fine. Instead, let's improve defenses up here. So, can't be expanding too much, just because, um, well, you know, public order reasons. And we don't even get a replacement agent for the one that was lost, so I can't even help spread this, um, this independence any faster. Yeah, come over here, get Very ready well. to distract him. Where are our other agents? Got one over here. We should level up. It actually will take a little while to level up to the max level. Alright, what else do we need? Uh, we got this. Or that. Grab that. Get more line of sight. And down here. This settlement here can defend against anything, I suppose. But now's the time for you to come out here and explore. I need to know what's going on. 
I think it would be in my best interest to try and conquer this section here first. I don't think I can raise another army yet. Also, we can now train re Republican infantry, but finances are an issue. I need to construct certain things. I don't know if building that's a good idea, because this... Ports are just going to get absolutely blown to shit. I've got a terrible navy. We're researching. Yeah, I need that extra clan-wide um, tax rate. Up here shouldn't be too bad. So, a rather large one of these fleets coming in. The Satsuma Imperial Vanguard seem like a real pain in the ass. We could do some damage to them over here, but it might be in our best interest to attack. I've got to maintain public order here for the um, independence. We've just got to wait for that to... This is happening really slowly. So pro-emperor is also increasing because there's an Ishi, Ishin, Ishi, uh, Ishin Shishi present. So maybe I should go assassinate him. What level is him? Oh, he's pretty high. 54% chance. Right, we'll see who's got the better chance. Fifty-four or fifty-four. I'll go with you. Good. That's you know he's not dead, but at least he's gone for the time being. This region here doesn't make enough money for me to justify sitting there all this time. So I'm going to move him up here. Yeah, if we... We could exempt it from taxation and it'll be okay, just once every two turns. We've got to, we've got to now fight back against them as fast as we can, I think. As long as public order will maintain, it'll be fine. Also, recruiting some more units to maintain public order and also help fight. I suppose that'll help. Because, yeah, we've pretty much given that up for dead. But what we can do is, if they capture this, we can come back here and recapture it. Yamashiro is well defended as well. But it's a little bit more valuable than this region. So these two here, they're almost ready to revolt. I'll exempt this one from taxation this turn here, and tax it next turn, so it's all aligned together. Otherwise I'll forget. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. It's very important that we try and maintain a high income. It gives us access to, to use the, uh, the agents and to construct as much as possible. Sitting around and, um, and raising loads and loads of money so you're sitting there with like 1,000 income is like one of the worst things you can do in Shogun 2 because at any point in time your income could drop due to you know, losing a region or whatever and then you're, then you're fucked. And we don't need another army right now. Okay, army was bombarded. That doesn't matter since this settlement's not under any threat. That's okay. Yes, my lord. As you come over here. Did you help to defend this? It doesn't have a star fort, but that's okay. Now, could you please try and get this? What is this like? Okay, what was that like? Four times? It took to yes, get it. All right, I want you. Also look up ahead. Okay, if we defeat them, we get a free run to Mimasaka. No one's here at the moment. Yeah, just recruit. At your command. On the move, sir. I'm surprised they didn't take this, to be honest. Hmm. 
Okay, let's exempt this from taxation. We'll see if we can hold it for another turn. Your orders, my lord. We should make sure we're standing in our own region. Without delay. Yeah, I'll take you on, you motherfucker. So yeah, now we finally get our comeuppance for what happened ages ago. Otherwise, I was perfectly happy to stay with the Shogunate, but that bitch cost me honor. Edo. Um, I wouldn't be able to beat that, not with damaged ships. So just, I'll get around here for the time being. I can't afford to recruit some more ships. I mean, I've got the money for it, but there's other things I need to build that's more urgent. If they go around just bombing my stuff, well, I'll just, I'll just pay for it. It's not going to be in the world. They don't have any army on there. And even if they did, I can just do the whole bullshit. Oh, I'll give you lots of money if you go away. And then be like, no, not giving you anything. We could also start recruiting our Republican infantry. Where are they? There. Which are better, but I, I just I don't have the f the finances to justify that right now. I will eventually. I just can't take that risk. Okay, so over here, what are we missing? Missing a police station. Got to get converting to independent. I don't know if it's a good idea to build this while they're here, although if it was built, it would shoot back at them. I feel like if I build that, they're just going to come over here and, and destroy it. So I'm going to assume that I'm not going to lose this. Maybe just cancel that, because they could still get over there and, and, and uh, cancel it out. Upgrade this, because we need... It also spreads it to neighboring provinces. So let's assume we're going to hold on to that for a few more turns. One more turn, it gets an improved garrison, so that'll be good. Okay, we've got... Yeah, I want you to attach yourself to this army. Because that'll give us additional ammunition, yeah, 25. However... Having him attached to the army has actually slowed down our movement. Oh, no, it hasn't. Okay, we're fine. Take him out. This is all just trash. So, yeah, this will be a pretty fun battle to fight manually. But here's the problem if I fight it manually, it won't wipe them out. If I auto resolve it, it will. Just look at that. There is no way I could have done that well manually. But I believe he also improves our movement range for the army. Hey, that's not too bad. 14072. Just need to make it refresh. Maybe that'll come into play next turn. I don't know. Because it didn't do anything. Actually, we're in a zone of control. We should take this now if we can. Like this. Creating a vassal wouldn't be too bad. It'd give us extra honor. And that way we could go back down there. Yeah, actually, we'll do that. that and we could just use these guys as a bit of a buffer. Then we can go back down here. At least this is safe. And that one extra public order, faction wide, will really help us out. And you can reattach yourself over here. Make your way back down here. Hit them. At your command. Um. 
yeah, you come down here as well. Now, they're the only people we're not at war with. How about that trade agreement? Our friend is always welcome, especially in these times of trouble. Come, let us talk. Fine, it doesn't matter. Ready for orders. So if you have a look, it says they're friendly. Different allegiance because they're shogunate. It doesn't matter right now. But yeah, like I said, he has Ready now got max order. honor, which will provide global bonuses to public order, which was a little bit of a concern. See, now this is even under control. And this isn't. Yes, monsieur. My sword for you, my lord. My lord? Low on cash. Can be we gotta get to keep it. But we must be at our limit by now with that. If both of these armies came and attacked me, I'm pretty confident of victory. Still pretty sure this um this settlement here is gonna get destroyed. Oh get get captured, I mean. Our settlements out here are well defended. Here we go in here. Maybe just one more. Too bad. Then again, I imagine the shitstorm is on its way. It's not gonna happen straight away. This is why we gotta attack them as fast as possible. Try and weaken them before they before they, they throw their full force at us. Are these my v it couldn't even last a single turn. Well, you, you guess what, what we're going to do. We're going to go defeat them. I guess we, we can't establish any vassals. So they've given up that settlement from Yashimuro. Because they don't want to fight me there. They couldn't even last a single turn there. Alright, well you go back over here. You still got a free unit out of it. But yeah, you're going to die for that. At least we get um, free experience. Yeah, you'll you'll not give you you fucked your option up. You should have at least waited for me to leave the area. What a dumbass. Okay, so repair that. Good, we got twenty percent independent here. How are we going with public order? Good, public order's okay. Don't care about that region. Let it go. Okay, a rather large army's heading over here. Should clear this out of the way first. I mean, it's just a handful of men. God, if you don't get back there, I'm gonna be so pissed off. How many troops do they have? Ready for I feel like if I go over here, I'm not going to have enough movement to get back here. Two additional units, it's not that big of a deal. Deal with it. That's not even a full stack anyway. We should be able to repel a full stack as long as it doesn't have a lot of artillery. So I can't reach him, but if he was to attack Setsu, he'll lose, I think. So he does have a parrot gun. Your orders, my lord. Anyway, I'm going to take Yashimura away from him. No one enters. No. no losses. Not going to make a vessel. So that gives us Kyoto. What's this? Pro Imperial. That needs to go. So that's where it was coming from. See, they don't have the like convert building. That would have been so much better.
So what do we need here? Building a cadet school will help us be able to defend the settlement a little bit easier. But it's... I think public order will be more important right now, so get that. That'll provide a little bit. Plus some cash. How much cash do we have? A little bit. So you come over here and get your repairs out this way. I'm a little bit damaged. I might put in one more line infantry. Just in case, because if, if they continue to bomb us here and they decide to come up this way, I'm going to want as many troops as I can get. I don't want to lose my capital. They're not really a big concern. We'll be fine here. If they kept, like I said, we've already given this place up for dead. It's fine. I will build this. And I will recruit another unit here. Because I reckon we're going to lose a few units in the coming fight. I need to upgrade this as well. I really don't want him staying there for too long, but I don't have a choice. Can't have me having revolts everywhere. At least there's iron here, which, of course, we can't trade with anyone. Actually, funny thing here, if I gave these guys the bullshit option, as in to get peace, make them come out over here, I don't think he'd make the attack, but it might actually be a good thing for us to just let him attack, die, and then we can keep pushing forward. Come on. Alright, we're done here. I think more turns until it increased taxes. Moving on. Okay, that's not really a big deal. They damaged the port though. I think we should sort of resolve that. Ooh, we lost more than I had. Oh no, it wasn't. It's just levy. It's okay. Um, they were badly damaged anyway. I hope I get a new general from that. No. They're going for Tampa. No artillery, no hope. Balance of power is not good, but um, considering the, the size and strength of our castle, the fact that they don't, they don't have artillery, um, I think we'll be okay. Light infantry can't be recruited here yet, so if they're taking too much damage, we definitely want to pull them out. They won't try and walk through there. They'll try and climb up. Don't know what else to do with them. And it'll be good because I can use this gun battle. Prepare to defend, sir. But yeah, I don't see the point in defending these areas areas here, because as soon as they get up there, our guys just rout. So just let them get exhausted coming up here. Then we, they come up to this point here, and we're at full strength. They're tired. Wait, what's this? 
I thought they didn't have artillery. I must have just been mistaken. It's only wooden cannons, so that's like useless. Except for the fact that if they blow up a section of wall, our units will, will get blown up with it. Just stay away from that spot. We don't even need to really dodge the shots, just don't be standing there when it gets blown up. They've only got 8 shots, they'll run out of ammunition very quickly. They can't possibly do their worth. When the battle's near victory, we'll send you out there to go run them down, provided you're still in good shape. Sir! Reports have it that your tower is in enemy hands. Only got eight shots. They've barely done any damage. All right, here we go here. Okay. Here we go. I mean, how do they do that? In this situation here, reverse. My guys get absolutely annihilated. And theirs don't take any real damage. Pull back. Because we're just not doing much damage. They shouldn't use the ship. Let them climb up the walls if you can. Closer. And then get back there. See, now they're at a, a worse angle. They're not doing anywhere near as many casualties. They're still doing some. That's not bad. To enemy hands. Levy infantry aren't that much of a concern. Oh, I should be using this. Makes some fire better. Bit of fighting going on here, so pull these levies back and send the spears in there instead. This isn't a star fort, is it? Oh no, I have to double check. It certainly doesn't look like a star fort. Get up here, they're gonna be tired. Great. This is right. No, 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 no,
Get back inside here. So yeah, what does it do exactly? Um, increasing their melee attack and fire rate. Bounce powers were moving a little bit more in our favor. Good to see. These units here look like they've shattered. Good. You've taken too much damage, I want you to stand back now. Bring one of these leveling troops up instead. These, um, what are these units? Just my infantry. Might get some friendly fire, but it doesn't matter too much. Lots of power creeping in our favor. Good to see. Almost even the match now. Yeah, there's no way for it. So this unit here, spear levy garrison, if it gets wiped out, it doesn't matter. This one here isn't. We can replace it. Levy Garrison Infantry, doesn't matter. Bounce of power is now evenly matched. What are you doing going down there for? Okay, pull him out, pull him out. He's taking too much damage. I should pull him out. He may still get annihilated just because he's taking so much damage. If he's lucky, he'll stay alive. Okay, now the bounce power's in my favor. Just waiting on victory. You stand back here. So you should... All forces are now focused on this. Okay. 
And it looks like the battle's won. They're just running away now. If we can kill a general or two, that'd be good, because I know they have two of them. Your victory is the close, enemy. sir! The enemy is okay, we'll just stop firing for a moment. Shit. As I said I was going to do, I need to send you down here to chase down those wooden cannons. Even though they didn't do much damage. I want to get my revenge on them. Oh, wait, 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 Sir, wait, wait. Your general is under yeah, yeah, the, um, the towers will shoot us as we're trying to get out. Just end the battle there. Maybe costly for me, but more costly for them. Oh, we captured it anyway. Don't really want it, they're crap. Invasion force lands where? Okay, well it's not a full stack, but this army here is not in very good shape either. I need you, I need you to come down here and distract it for a turn. Good job. Buys me some time to recruit two more line infantry. And also for these guys to have some bit more healing done. Alright, let's see what we can do with you. There's one here for extra ammunition. going with taxes. Okay, if we just drop the... T All I need to do is exempt this one from taxation. I'm surprised we haven't lost it yet. So yeah, for something that costs 102, they're just not able to really do any damage. I'll keep them for now so that we can go and finish them off. Help us in order resolve. But then they're being disbanded. Plus two to melee attack, but it reduces his campaign movement range. Well, it's... We don't really need melee attack. We rely very heavily on guns, so no. It's okay, it can be replaced. I imagine it'll be a few turns before they send anything back here. So how much is it going to cost us? Oh, that's pretty damn expensive. I mean, what's the point of repairing it? They're just going to blow it up again. So public order here has gone a bit downhill. Maybe I could recruit some more spear levy and levy infantry just to maintain public order here rather than exempting it from taxation because it does make it quite a bit of money. It doesn't have a police station thing though. So we need to build more magistrates. Because the, the reason that there's bad public order is non-clan allegiance. But that's going to go away as soon as the independent stuff improves. There's no... There's nothing here. No influence for the Shogun anymore. So it will go away. And as we build these, it'll spread the influence to this region, speeding up the process. And there goes all my cash. Okay, maybe that one's not so urgent. Over here, what I build that in, I need to build the police station. You have use of my talent? Possible. 
challenge to single combat. Alright. 63% chance for 900. Victorious mine. Good stuff. Kill them. And that just, you know, essentially takes out one of the units in their army. Take that bitch. Alright, so let's have a look here. Yeah, that'd be good. Okay, so imagine public order here is not going to be fantastic. We've already got a citadel here. So it should be able to defend itself. Actually, maybe instead of the police station, build the cadet school so I can train line infantry here. That'll be upgraded eventually and we'll fix it up. I mean, just... There's not a lot of money here anyway. So I can just cycle off the taxes. So if we take Mino, it'll help secure our regions over here. But Iga is closer. I think we should go with what's closer, otherwise we're going to logistically get fucked up. I I'd like to be able to use the trains, but I haven't researched it yet. We'll eventually, it's just other things need, need focus right now. So how about the public order? So yeah, we could easily exempt it from taxation every two turns. So I need you to keep an eye on what's out here. That's pretty easy, we'll be able to defeat that. After we've defeated Ego, we'll come down this way. I'm surprised I've still got that. Can't believe it, actually. I've seen armies go by this and they just don't want it. I mean, fine by me. I'll hold on to it and make a little bit of cash out of it. Now, we got to keep moving. Constantly. Let's see, what have they got out here? That's not well defended, so let's go and hit it. I'm sure you're providing public order just being in the province. So I'll keep you there. We should be able to hit there next turn. And we've forgotten this guy. If an army comes over here and just captures it, no big deal. Let's go over there and kill them. that guy got a level up. That's also relatively expensive, but not as expensive as that one. Not sure if they repair automatically over time in this. Just gonna stay down here for the time being. So now how many summons do we have? Fifteen. Yes, my lord. Won't make it there next turn. And I could use the uh, the exploit to get myself a little bit closer. Could do that, but let's not. I only do that if I'm absolutely desperate, which I'm not. Seems like for the most part we've been fine. We haven't lost a single region yet. We've captured a few. This is these guys' last two settlements. What are they called again? The Takatsuki. Yeah, if we take them out, that's one fewer enemies. Because the thing is now, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve enemies to deal with. We need to reduce that number. Hang on, this actually needs to be exempt this turn. Moving on. He's just being a total nuisance. 
That's the best he can come up with. Unless those two are allied, I shouldn't have to worry too much. If they capture that, I don't care. Like I said, I removed my investments from it. We could fight the battle manually and do a little bit of damage to them, but considering the amount that we've got here and the amount that we've got there, it probably wouldn't be worth the time. Probably actually make more money without the settlement due to administration costs of having it. Move out of the way. I could capture the capture this turn, but not with these guys in the army. And it's probably auto resolve worthy anyway. Need you to have a look at what's out this way. Or we could fight that, but I think we should just clear this out now. Is the auto resolve? Didn't even lose any men. Which the occupy, good. And then get back in the army. And we'll just keep moving. The public order here will be fine because this will re repair. How much is that worth? Four public order. Hmm. Yes, that one's fine. So we're going to need. This one here is not really going to be a frontier settlement, so it should be fine. We need the inn, and we need the police station. So I need to just do a little bit of thinking about how the public order is going to sort itself out. If there's a little bit of devastation, right? Yeah, that's going to go away. So what's causing problems? We've got modernization due to... Well, that's probably just due to action stuff. Five is coming in here. I might actually have to sit there for a turn. For a turn or two. I oh, know, we'll figure it out as we go. Can only be recruited within the cities of Kyoto. Interesting. They're pretty good spearmen. Cost a little bit more than spearmen, and their stats are much better. So I guess recruiting one of them here is not a bad idea. Seems like that navy just buggered off. It's good. I wonder if this will repair on its own over time, because it's, it's pretty expensive to repair that. Okay, we've got an enemy coming in over here. Could bombard him, but he's just going to get replenishment from here. Wait until he comes in here first. We've got a we've got a general sitting in here, and um, it's nearly a full stack. I don't think I need to, oh, just a little levy infantry. Maybe just recruit another spear infantry, just in case. Plus, we'll we'll be able to bomb them if they if they attack. We should get some repairs going. Good, we get to level up the uh, the general. Now it's level four. If we can get him to reduce the upkeep cost by additional 15%, that means they're reduced by 45%, no, sorry, 35% in total. Alright, that should be sufficient to defend that. Anyway, these guys here have got Here's other things to be concerned about, namely me.
Don't worry about the pause. I mean, it's too close to these guys here. What does it matter? Okay, maintaining public order here. Um, let's see. So we're going to need a police station. Out of curiosity, if we were to come around over here, hopefully there's, they don't have much here. I might even be able to send a small, small force over, and just to finish off that faction. A lot of damage done here. It just reduces their units by one. Um, don't think there's any point uh, repairing this right now. Okay, that bought us some time to deal with this. If they come over here and attack this, I think they'll lose as well. Wouldn't, uh, they do have parrot guns. So the question here is whether or not we should try to... What about these ones instead? I mean, it's expensive, but I don't want them moving around. Good. If this one here was to attack us, fine. It's not a big deal. Got two foreign veterans here. If I sent you to harass this guy. It's not going to cost too much. Challenge to single combat. Is that a general? Must be. Okay, well, at least he's... He's fine. Could send the other one in. Good. Get rid of that raider. This is why we need so much money. For agent actions. You see, it's working. What's he going to do? Is he going to go and raid? Whatever. Wherever he goes, I can just repair it. We've got plenty of money. Fences here. If this comes under attack by anything other than a half stack, it's doomed. Alright, I think that's all I can do this turn. There's no point even looking at diplomacy anymore. He was hindered, wasn't he? You have use of my talents? No. Okay, moving on. I always fear the end turn. Because they get to have 12 turns that are basically aimed straight at me. I mean, you can just order this all that. Look here, levy, garrison, infantry, there, they don't matter. Spear, levy, garrison, spear, levy. Okay, so we only lost one unit. These ones being lost here means nothing, and there's a levy garrison. We're, we're training line infantry here. So. Similar thing here. Except I might actually fight this battle manually because it wasn't. I need to make sure the results are good. No artillery. We're gonna wreck a new one. We only got five minutes left of the episode, it's probably gonna go over time again a little bit. And so far this whole Republic stuff's not going too badly. It's definitely challenging, but we're capturing more settlements than we're losing. Our economy is still improving, our armies are getting better, as in our generals are getting better. 
our enemies are seemingly incapable of capturing any settlements, apart from, you know, the, the most poorly defended settlements. So once again, keep all of our guys in here, because we want to have that unlimited morale. Keep the, uh, actually, we'll use the, the line infantry here, because this is where they get the most kills. So we want to make sure our, our best troops are on the job. And if they take too much damage, we'll just pull them back. We've got enough infantry that we could go around here as well, but the problem is that once they go up here, it's very hard to get them to be like, get back up here. And that's the problem. So it seems, in theory, good, it's good to defend these walls here. But, practically, from what I've seen, it's not. Anyway, if they come up here, these guys can shoot, the, shoot them as they come up. Alright, let's do this. We are so the bounce power's not in our sir. favor. But, you know, they're going to lose men just coming up here. Plus, when they get up here, we've, they have to kill us down to the last man. We only need to break them. Would have been good to have a general in here because um, of that uh, gun battle ability is very good. Wonder how it'd be to have Gatling gun towers or even cannon towers. Because if you think about it, how much if if it was like Gatling gun towers just constantly shooting, this unit would be almost dead by now. Get them eventually. We need to research the upgraded building, which is going to cause more public order problems. We could have had amazing public order if we stayed with the um, the shogunate because we were almost at level six with all of our um, our agents, which would have provided an extra plus five public order faction wide, which is a lot. Tower, sir. It's fine. See, these towers are too far away to be able to shoot back at me anyway. Right. No. It's alright, it's not that big of a deal. Good, this unit's already got nearly 40 kills. And see, if we were now pulling them back up here, trying to scramble to get up this way, they just, they, the path one gets a little bit awkward, so that's why I don't bother trying to defend this. Maybe on small unit scales it works a bit better, but since I play on huge unit scale, it, the path one does get awkward. It's better than Rome Total War. Moved a little bit more in my favor. Get up. 
up here and dick around completely. First man to get up on the wall gets a piece of cock trunk okay. or shot in the face. It's kind of cool how they like roll around in pain before they're they're actually considered like defeated. A bit unrealistic when every unit just just falls open and dies. So it's cool how they did that. Yeah, it's going pretty well. Most of their units are. Taking any casualties or any serious casualties, they don't need to worry about it. These guys here are going to be attacked. These guys here just break. It certainly helps that we've got so many troops here. They get a little bit overwhelmed by seeing so many guns staring at their face. He's getting a little bit damaged. It's, oh, okay. That's fine. It's not really under any attack right now. <laughs> I haven't had to issue a single command so far. Bodyguard there, they might struggle a little bit. They're quite strong on foot. But he's also being shot. And he's broken, so that means he's as good as dead. We won the battle without even having to issue a command. Their general has fallen! Didn't have to issue a single fight. Set things up and then just wait. Well, we're going to be in excellent shape for. Uh, hang on, keep shooting. Actually, actually, no, we're getting shot as well. 
We're gonna be in heroic victory, that's cool. We're gonna be in excellent shape for um, subsequent battles here, because we didn't take much damage there. I really need a technology that's gonna give me more replenishment, because it's quite slow. Oh yeah, we've seen now that that settlement's very de defensible. They need artillery if they want to get in there. Because that forces me to move around a hell of a lot. Trying to dodge those shots. Uh, our old buddies. Garrison distraction attempt, they failed. Okay. Army bombarded over here. Well, if they were bombarded, it didn't do much damage. Alright, so what we do need to do here, we'll do this next time. We take out this navy, and then bomb them. And we should be able to defend this, because this is a star fort here. That's what I was going to check before. This settlement here that we fought this battle on. Yeah, it wasn't a star fort, it was a citadel. Same with this. We haven't fought in a star fort yet, I don't think. So that's actually repairing a little bit each turn, because I recall that it was, it was more expensive last turn. That being said, it's repairing really slowly. But it will repair itself over time. It's just I need to focus more on public order than constantly repairing things that I don't desperately need. Alright, so I guess that's the end of this episode. So like and subscribe, part uh, 11 I suppose is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.